Hello friends, welcome back again to the channel Techno49. I hope everyone is safe. In today's video, I would be talking about training phase and nesting phase in content center. I'm sure that people who are working in operational training, workforce management, call center, they must have heard about it, training phase and nesting phase. This video will clarify all the doubt about this. For more WFM content center operational accelerated videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel Techno49. It is completely free. So now let's move on to the video. So the first step is that in the context center, the term training phase and nesting phase typically refer to different stages of onboarding and development for new or, or existing agents. Here's a brief description of each. First of all, we have to understand that it involves providing newly hired agent with the necessary skills, knowledge and tools to effectively perform their work assigned this phase usually occurs before agents start interacting with customers this is the first step in which new hired agents get to know about the product knowledge get to know about the process details according to the work assigned to them after that during training agents learn about the company product or services used for managing customer interactions training can also cover soft skills like empathy active listening and problem solving the goal is to equip CSR or agents with the capabilities needed to handle customer inquiries, resolve issues and provide a positive customer experience. So training is the first step for agent, new agent in a company. They get a lot of information about the product knowledge, process knowledge. They get to know about how they can handle the customers in a different stages, what kind of details they need to have to ensure that the customer satisfaction should be always good. Now let's talk about the nesting phase. After completing the initial training, CSR or agents usually enter the nesting phase. This phase can also be referred as the nesting period or nesting stage. They begin taking live calls or handling customer inquiries under the guidance and supervision of experienced team leads or supervisor. Once the newly hired agents complete the training that has been given by the trainers, they get to the nesting phase in which they get to learn all these things the live interaction with the customers with the help of supervisor in case if they have any kind of challenges so they can get to know about it they can take the help of their supervisor to ensure that the execution of the process should be up to the mark after that this phase allows csr to apply what they have learned in training to actual customer situations while receiving support and feedback from more experienced colleagues. Nesting phase helps CSR gain confidence, refine their skills, and build a solid foundation before they are fully independent in handling customer interactions. So these were the main, you know, the kind of steps we have in training phase and the nesting phase. This is very important to understand that. After that, in summary, if I just talk about all these things, the training phase involves educating CSRs with the necessary knowledge and skills, while the nesting phase focuses on CSRs into real customer interactions with the guidance and supervision of experienced team members. Both phases are crucial for developing competent and effective customer services representatives who can provide excellent support to callers. In the next video, I would talk about with the example of training phase and nesting phase in case we have the headcount given. So thank you so much again for watching the video. Please subscribe and share.